Welcome everyone, you're trying to set your own song as a ringtone, but you don't see the option. That's because the first step is I want you to open up the app store and we will need to get this app which converts our ringtones into a file which the iPhone supports. We will also need to get the GarageBand application and you don't need any experience with the GarageBand just make sure this is downloaded. I will have links for both apps you need in the description. Next, you will need to have your MP3 music files. And again, we need to convert them. So I can't show anything legal here. However, if you want a ringtone that is legal, just search up you know, download, no copyright, MP3 sounds. And just go on the website that you see and just get the music. Remember, you need the appropriate license to download the music. If the music is free, no copyright, then the license you don't need to worry about. And there we go, we see the music. We'll just tap on the download and we can see the music has been downloaded successfully. The next step is we need to open up the Ringtone Maker app. And in the app, it's going to ask for notifications, let's not allow, ask to track, we'll refuse that permission and we'll select continue. Uh, we'll just tap on accept and this is just an ad, just wait for the ad. The ad may be a good one to two minutes, but when you see the X, tap on the X and from here we need to select create ringtone from audio. And then once we selected this, we're going to select the files. And you should see the music right here. But if you don't, tap on browse. And then tap on browse again. And search on either on my iPhone or the iCloud drive. And then go into your downloads. And you should see the music file right here. So we now need to trim the song to be 30 seconds or less, as that is the limit for ringtones. So just swipe this icon here, and you can play to here. You can turn on the fade audio, so it will just fade in. Let's say, you know, like, uh, you, you just have to test this one, it's hard to explain. And so once we are happy, we see here, save so we're going to tap on save and now it's going to create the ringtone and once this is done we need to open it in the garage band so we're going to swipe across and we're going to keep on swiping and if we don't see the garage bands we'll tap on more and then we're going to locate here we go garage band and once we tap on GarageBand, we'll allow any permissions. We'll select continue, continue, and we won't allow any notifications. We are now going to tap into my songs and you can see the ringtone maker song here. Long press on this song. Then you should see here share, tap on share. And there we go. Tap to create a ringtone. So let's tap on the ringtone here. Uh, we'll tap on continue. And name of the ringtone. Set this to the name of the ringtone you want, not just ringtone maker. So I'll just do happy music. And then we'll tap on export. Uh, we'll tap on OK. And it's going to export the ringtone. Let's wait for this one. The ringtone export was successful. I will tap on OK. So the last step is we're now going to open the settings. And in the settings, I want you to locate where you see sounds and haptics. And then ringtone. And there we go. There is our custom ringtone. Yeah, I like that music. I would also like you to leave a like on this video 
uh, drop a subscribe and bye bye.